Welcome back to Game Theory 101. I'm William Spaniel. Today's topic is perfect Bayesian equilibrium. This is the start of a brand new solution concept, so let's get right to it. You might remember this figure from before. This lists equilibrium solution concepts by the timing and information in a game. We have started our exploration of game theory with the simplest of games. Those are simultaneous move games of complete information. And we saw that the appropriate solution concept was Nash equilibrium. Then we transitioned into games of sequential timing, where players take turns moving and have seen previous moves and know what other players have done when they make their actions. And we saw that Nash equilibrium is insufficient for that, so we instead switched over to something known as subgame perfect equilibrium. Then we switched gears, and rather than changing up the simultaneous versus sequential nature of a game, we still looked at simultaneous move games, but we switched from incomplete information to complete information. We saw that again Nash equilibrium was not sufficient for that, so we had to introduce Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Well, the natural question is what do you do when a game is both sequential and has incomplete information? We need some sort of combination of subgame perfect equilibrium and Bayesian Nash equilibrium. And that's exactly what we're learning about today perfect Bayesian equilibrium. So, this lecture is going to introduce the definition of perfect Bayesian equilibrium. I'm going to go over the important facets of that definition, and then in later lectures, we'll actually start applying it. This is just like what we did with Bayesian Nash equilibrium. When we get to the point where we're working with these really complicated solution concepts, it's very important to go over the specifics of the definition before we start playing around with the solution concepts themselves, with those equilibria themselves. So, let's go ahead and get to that definition. A perfect Bayesian equilibrium, or a PBE, is a set of strategies and beliefs such that the strategies are sequentially rational given the player's beliefs, and players update beliefs via Bayes' rule wherever possible. That's a lot to take in, so let me go through all of the important points of perfect Bayesian equilibrium one by one. To begin, PBE consists of both strategies and beliefs. That latter part is new. When you were writing down the Nash equilibria of a game, or subgame perfect equilibria, or Bayesian Nash equilibria, all you would do was list the strategies. There was nothing about beliefs there. Beliefs were a component of how you would calculate a Bayesian Nash equilibrium, but they weren't a part of the Bayesian Nash equilibrium itself. PBE is a whole new ballgame. It's strategies and beliefs, together, both of them. You need both, or your answer is wrong. It's like when you go back to subgame perfect equilibrium and you forget to write down the off the path of play strategies, your answer would be wrong with a subgame perfect equilibrium. Same thing here. If you forget about the beliefs part, your answer is wrong. And that's a common rookie mistake to forget about the beliefs. So remember, last warning here, PBE, strategies and beliefs together. Leave out one, your answer is wrong. You need both. There's still a question about where those strategies and beliefs are coming from, and that's what the rest of the definition addresses. Let's start with the strategies. Strategies in a perfect Bayesian equilibrium are sequentially rational. Think back to the difference between Nash equilibrium and subgame perfect equilibrium. Subgame perfect equilibrium required that all threats be credible. In other words, when push comes to shove, players actually want to follow through on the strategies listed in the equilibrium. Well, sequential rationality is buying us that in the definition of perfect Bayesian equilibrium. You'll notice that the word perfect appears in both subgame perfect equilibrium and perfect Bayesian equilibrium. And that's precisely due to the fact that perfection is the concept of threats being credible. So in a perfect Bayesian equilibrium, threats should be credible. That's what the sequential rationality part of strategies is here. That being said, there's an important distinction between games of complete information and games with incomplete information when it comes to the credibility of threats. With complete information, I know exactly what I'm buying. I know what my payoffs are. I know what your payoffs are. And that's going to affect the credibility of my threat. In a game of incomplete information, I don't know exactly what I'm facing. You could be a weak type, you could be a strong type. Maybe I'm willing to fight a war against a weak type, but I'm not willing to fight a war against a strong type. And if that's the case, then the credibility of my threat depends on what I believe about what my opponent is. I have a credible threat to fight against a weak type. I don't have a credible threat to fight against a strong type. And so that's why we have sequential rationality given the player's beliefs. 
And that should flag to you why we care about both strategies and beliefs. The credibility of my strategies depends on my beliefs. That takes us to the beliefs part. How do you arrive at these beliefs, which in turn determine the credibility of threats? Well, just like with Bayesian Nash equilibrium, you start off with a prior belief. Here, however, you update your information as the game progresses. For example, imagine a game with a strong type and a weak type. Maybe the strong type chooses to bully in equilibrium, and the weak type always cowers in fear. Regardless of whether you observe bullying or cowering in fear, you have new information that you didn't have before, so you should be updating your prior beliefs. Fortunately, we know exactly how you should update prior beliefs in light of new information. It's Bayes' rule. Bayes' rule was literally created to address that exact problem. So players are going to update their information wherever possible via Bayes' rule. But there's a caveat there. It's that wherever possible part. There might be an action that is never taken in equilibrium. And this is going to create a problem in how to address your beliefs about being in a situation where that strategy was pursued. Bayes' rule requires an outcome to occur with positive probability for us to use it. Otherwise, there's a divide by zero error. So in these cases where there's a divide by zero error, we don't have a very clear and straightforward way of calculating our beliefs. So a large portion of this unit is going to be addressing how we should be thinking about beliefs in situations where we can't actually update them through Bayes' rule. That's actually a good segue to the outline for the rest of this unit. We're going to be looking at two types of games, screening games and signaling games. Signaling games have this information problem where it might not be easy to update beliefs via Bayes' rule, whereas screening games don't have that problem. And because screening games are a lot simpler, we're going to be starting with those. In a screening game, the uninformed actor moves first. This is a lot easier to solve for because there's no information conveyed in an action taken by an uninformed actor, precisely because that uninformed actor doesn't know anything, and so he or she can't communicate any sort of information. In signaling games, an informed actor moves first. And this causes the informed actor to have to really think about what they're communicating with the actions that they're taking. So this is going to result in a bunch of different types of equilibria, pooling equilibria, separating equilibria, and semi-separating or partially pooling equilibria. So if you've been looking at this video trying to figure out what the differences are between pooling, separating, and semi-separating, that's something that's going to be covered later on in this unit. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time when we start talking about screening games. Take care.